Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for a notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country put it on his back and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon. To this Pittsburgh. is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Surreal Bungamogan. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Leg kick lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice punch there. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early go. And they separate. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
timely defense there. Huge block for him. Slips the punch nicely there. Big kick lands. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice counter jab up top by McGregor. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, look at that jab, snaps his head back. This jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. 26 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Swing and a miss with that punch by McGregor. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Let me see some nice punch, Lynn. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Connor. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. There it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Can't take many of those, you better check. And that one certainly found the target. Another one, yep. Oh, and the left hand. Connects with the right. Nice, sneaky head kick. He's kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice kick. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Strong defense there to block the shot. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Oh, straight right. We got this, okay? You got it. McGregor gets hit with a kick. Another straight left. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Punch over the top. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Nice straight punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he landed the right hand there. And he caught the kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice jab by McGregor. How good is that right hand? Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Liver kick. Lands with the right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Connor. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big head kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just unable to quite find that range. Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that exchange. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go. McGregor's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Watch knees to the body. McGregor gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Nice punch land over the top. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big head kick land. Big and kick. Stay slow. Stay slow. Keep moving. Oh, overhand lands. That'll leave a mark. He lands another punch to the head. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Big punch land. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. start checking some of these. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light them up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Out of range with that one. It's such a fast leg kick. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, and what a round! All right, there's the horn indicator.
came in the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice overhand left. Able to check that kick as well. Well, missed on that one. Nice leg kick land. Clipped him with the right hand there. He got the turnover in that kick. Head kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Plus right hand is true. Throwing that jab, no good. Body kick now by McGregor. Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. Just over three minutes now to go. Conor McGregor gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Straight right, he misses. Slips the punch. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Leg kick checked effectively there by McGregor. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice punch by McGregor. Oh, and he lands another punch there. You can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Visibly limping here. Nice loop and punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big power shot there. And follows up with another one. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, blocks the shot. Unable to connect with the right. Beautiful kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Lunges forward with a left there. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Nice one, two there. 
Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Big kick land. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Ten seconds to go. Beautiful leg kick throw. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Oh, man, hit the plan. That punch no good. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, you might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. That knee attempt is blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Stay strong. Stay strong. Keep moving. What a punch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He goes to the body there. Hands up. Hands up. Take your face. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by McGregor. Big kick land. Very tricky when he throws that body. Big leg kick lands. Yeah, left hook found its target. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice combination from McGregor. Real nice body kick land. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, nice call right here. Nice head kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Nice strike. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Looking to land the right, just out of range. Under two minutes now to go. Back to the feet now. Looking to land the leg kick now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just misses with the right hook. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You 
can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Head kick. Just missing on the counter there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Well-placed kick there by Connor. Oh, he just stuck with the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice high pitch. Wow. Gets up again here, but hurting. Great punch. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Right on the button. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment, he found the opening, and landed that big strike. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Real quick leg kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the targets. Tight to behold. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. And that one was heavy. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Straight right is there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's it. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Then he comes through with a big knee. Good stick. Start to check some of these. And that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of round number five. You're playing the winner by TKO, Surreal Bogomolka. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down on the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.